I don't even know if you wanted me to make this video. Hey everyone, it's your boy Harrison Piano. What? So today we are in a practice room, and whether or not you consider yourself an advanced musician or intermediate one or a beginner one, doesn't matter because I think you can learn a thing or two from this video. If you didn't know, there are so many things you can do in this room. <laughs> you can do this, and this, and this. And I know you probably have never been in a practice room with me, but if you're ever in any kind of room with me, you probably wouldn't want to be in this one. <laughs> So anyway, I'll give you the advantage of being separated from me by the screen, so you don't receive as much as the, uh, uh, the hotness, if you know what I'm saying. So before I go into the little details of practicing, let me just say that it's freaking dangerous! So here are some, but not all of the hazards of using a practice room. Being crushed by the cover. That's oh! Okay, that's better. Being crushed by the lid. Or this. Oh my god, my shoulder. <laughs> you know, people don't really tell you about these hazards, but you know, I got you, okay? I got you. I'm pretty concerned about your safety. But it kind of does explain why people tell you to break a leg instead of break a hand because, you know, it's. They'd rather have you break a leg instead of break your hand because then you can't play. You know what I'm saying? So now that you've been taught practicing 101, let's jump into the juicy stuff. Okay. You need to be aware and you need to accept that there will be other people practicing in other rooms, okay? And chances are, they'll be playing the same pieces as you, one of them at least, and this will happen. Hey, how am I gonna steal my go, dude? And there are also times when you overhear someone playing something very popular. I'm talking the Happy Birthday song. This person's probably gonna be so good that his rendition of Happy Birthday is gonna top Jeremiah's song on billboards, okay? With a hit single of Birthday Sax to, you know, to, to, to make it sound more jazzy. But sometimes, just sometimes, the results just aren't that satisfying. Oh my god, it's Happy Birthday. This is not creepy at all. Okay. Oh. But of course, many times, you'll hear someone who absolutely kills it, like they're so good and they're so talented, you're just like, oh! They're so good that you want to know who they are, okay? You want their Snapchat, their Instagram, they wanna, you wanna follow them on the social medias, okay? And, and maybe even get their digits, you know? <laughs> yeah, digits, get it? <laughs> because they're so good with their digits. <laughs> but you might also want their address! <laughs> <laughs> Okay, anyway, this will happen. Whoa! I think I know this person. Wow, you are so attractive! But last but not least, while you are practicing, people might overhear you playing. And if they think you're good, sometimes they might actually say something to you. Legit, so many times I've had people bust into my practice room saying, Oh my god, you're so good! <laughs> I'm not saying I'm good or anything, but... No, no, I'm terrible. And almost 100% of the time, this happens. Do I... do I know this person? You are really good at this. No, 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 he's creepy. Alright, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out. Hey guys, so thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please give it a big thumbs up because, you know, to support my thumbs because I need them to play piano. But anyway, stay tuned for more music and comedy and whatever stuff I do to come. And with that said, stay strong, stay awesome, and bye! <laughs>